Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Demeter, which is a flip and fill game all about researching and discovering space dinosaurs. So this is the kind of game where we reveal something at the start of each round and then every player gets the same choice. So theoretically you could play with as many players as you'd like. So if you would like to play along with this game, then you can find the sheet on the publisher's website, Sorry We Are French, and I'll put that in the description. It's not going to be entirely accurate because there is a bit of a race for certain things, but I think we can make it work. And as always, I recommend you turn on your Klingon subtitles because any mistakes I make will be noted there. So if we're going to be playing together, then we need to know what everything does in advance, really. So rather than getting just stuck in, I'll explain to you how things go. If you would like to skip the rules and just get straight to the gameplay, you should be able to see in the time bar a kind of chapter where you can skip to where the gameplay for real starts. There is one last bit of setup apart from all of these cards and stuff. We need to choose a part of a dinosaur to colour in before we see any cards or anything. Uh, you might want to wait until I've finished the explanation. I'll tell you, Marty is going to go for this one here. Now, when you're colouring in a part of the dinosaur, you want to leave the symbol in the middle empty because it might be important later how many things of uh, a certain colour you have filled in. I think I'm going to do a particularly good job of colouring them. And I'm going to go for I'm going to go for one of these little guys. So I should uh, actually look up. It doesn't say in the rules which uh, dinosaurs these are supposed to be. I think Marty's done a pterodactyl there, I would imagine. So what's going to happen in the game? We are going to reveal a card from each of these decks. Each player will pick one of these cards. Any number of people can pick the same card. You will perform the action that is on the card you selected. Then you will get a bonus based on the colour of the card. See, there's a table in the top left of your player sheet that details these bonuses. So for the main colours, so not grey, for main colours, you will start with one of a particular bonus. And then as you fill in more and more cards of that colour, you increase the number of times. So the first time up with the blue card, you get to place a scientist. The next time you choose a blue card, you get to place two scientists after you've done the main action, then three, then four. But after you've done your four, that's it for blue cards. You can't pick any more for the rest of the game. The grey card bonus is a bit special. It lets you choose this cog symbol. You can see cog equals a scientist or any of the main bonuses, but just one. And no matter how many you colour in, you only get one of it. If you do a column of this bonus table, then you get a special wild symbol. You can fill in any section of a dinosaur. And if you fill in a second column, you can do two wild symbols. At the end of the round, we check to see if anyone has discovered all of the dinosaurs of a species. If they did, they get the points noted here, and then we flip it over. So if Marty was to discover that pterodactyl, he would get three points, and then anyone else to do it in the future would get one. If you do it in the same round, then you both get the points. So what kind of actions can we get? We can get discovering species. So you can see the paw prints that are on the dinosaurs, the green, the red, and the blue. Whenever you get those symbols, you can fill in that many spaces on dinosaurs on your sheet. Once you have fully coloured in a dinosaur, it's been discovered and you can study it later on in the game. And if you get multiple, of course, that means you would colour in two green paws somewhere on your sheet. You can build observation posts. This is one of the cards removed from the game, by the way. There are three cards from each deck removed. Uh, the rectangle lets you build an observation post. So you can pick whichever area you want to put an observation post in. If you're building multiple, you can split them into multiple areas if you like, but you have to build from left to right. So you'd have to fill up the two observation posts here before you could move on to the four. What this is going to do is at the end of the game, based on your highest completed observation post, you'll get that many points for each dinosaur you discovered in that area. So over here, if I was to discover all of the Triceratops and do all of the observation posts, I would get three points for each of them. So nine extra points at the end. They also unlock the ability to get more scientists in a particular area. Speaking of scientists, here we go. This is how you recruit them. Again, you can pick any area. You can split them up. You need to start from left to right. You can only fill them in past an observation post if that observation post has been filled in. So here I could do the first scientist, but to be able to do any more, I would have to have this observation post filled in first. We can study discovered species. That's the yellow line there. For every yellow line you get, you can colour in one of the yellow lines on your player sheet, but it has to come from a dinosaur that you have fully discovered, and they are going to unlock bonuses as we go along. 
most are for the end of the game. There are a couple that will let you do things now, like this would let you color in two red paw prints as soon as you get that bonus by doing the two arrows after you've discovered the dinosaur. And this would let you build a building that we'll get onto in just a second. The rest relate to getting you points. So it's either just flat points if it's got a big number in there. If it's got a color and then times two, this would be two points for every blue card you pick this game or purple card or red card. This one here is the only way you're allowed to score for objective D. We'll get onto the objectives in a bit. And this one would let you choose any of the objectives to score, even if you haven't done the research to unlock them. Speaking of research, every time you get a research symbol, you can progress on the research track. Each one allows you to color in one box, starting from here where the arrow is. From then on, you need to color in adjacent spaces. And if you cover up a bonus, then you get that bonus. By coloring in the space directly underneath one of these objectives, A, B, and C, you'll be eligible to score every objective that you've reached at the end of the game. And finally, you can erect a building. Now, it might just be this wild symbol here, this black house. That refers to any of them. So when you unlock that bonus, you can build any of the buildings. Or more likely, it will be on a card and it will be a specific building you have to pick. Each of the first four buildings enhance your ability to do a particular action. So this would be every time you get a scientist, get one more scientist. Every time you get an observation post, get one more observation post. And the same for studying and research. The final one is once per turn, you can turn one of your paw symbols into a wild and put it anywhere. So it gives you a lot more flexibility. We keep going until everyone's had 12 turns. That's going to be all of the cards in these decks. Remember, three were removed at random from the start. And then we score. So first of all, it's objectives. You need to have either reached them on the research track or you get all four study arrows here to pick one of your choice. Now these vary based on the game. There are a couple more that aren't in this game and which letter they go next to is randomized to. In our game, if you are eligible for the objective, you can score based on the number of dinosaurs you discovered, so fully colored in. If you've done six to 10, you get five points. If you've done 11 or more, you get 10 points. The number of buildings you constructed, the number of times you studied a dinosaur, and the number of blue paw symbols you colored this game. Then you get points for your scientists, if your scientists reach the final section or down here in the T-Rex section, they get points for the highest section that they're in. You have to have completed the section entirely, by the way, to qualify for them. And there are bonuses for filling in scientists as well in the earlier areas in a lot of the zones. For example, here, if you've done all these first four scientists, you can build a building. Then you count your points for all of the completely discovered species you did. You get points for your diversity of species. So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 points for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different species. Then you do your observations. So remember, it's your highest observation value multiplied by the number of dinosaurs you discovered there. Any points you got from completed studies. And there is an extra one I didn't mention there. This one is for every completed column in the bonus section. You get three points for there. And then we total up all of the points. Most points wins. So that is a lot to take on board in the beginning, I realize, but you know, it's, it's necessary to make decisions if we're going to be playing along together. So if you haven't already, choose where your first section is going to be colored in. And I think we're ready to start the first round. So on the cards we have, get a scientist, two green paw prints, a green or a red paw print, study a dinosaur, probably, well, it's only good to you if you've done one of the dinosaurs that just needed one paw print to completely color in. So I could potentially take that or three observation posts. I could say, I am going to go for these observation posts. And so I, I think I'm going to go for these little fellas over here. So I'm going to do two of them there. And then my third one, what else would I like to go for? Just the easy one colored in dinosaurs. Now, one of the objectives, if I'm going for objective D here, I want to color in a load of uh, blue spaces on dinosaurs. So why don't we, why don't we observe these raptors here? Are these the raptors? I think these are the raptors. And that'll be my third one. So I chose the gray card. I kind of do an outline to, to remember that I chose the gray card. I take the action and then I take the bonus and then color the square in to show that I have taken the bonus. So I can have either a scientist, an observation post, study or research. And I think I'm going to go for a scientist over here. 
So I am one quarter of the way, doesn't look much like a scientist anymore, <laughs> one quarter of the way of getting a building from there. So that was my choice. Marty is going to go for pores. He wants to color in some green pores. So he's going to do one here to try and finish off his, uh, his pterodactyl. And then a second one. I think he's going to go for the T-Rex down here. And so he picked a red card. And so what does that mean for him? He, well, he should have circled it when he took the card and then color it in to show that he's taken an observation post. And there is no observation post for the pterodactyl. He's going to put it in the T-Rex then. So if he can do the blue paw print there, he will have a point straight away. So that was the first round. I hope you've picked. If not, just uh, pause because I'm going to change the cards now. Okay, so what have we got? We've got scientist again. We've got two red paw prints, two red paw prints. We've got, oh, build the, the building that lets you treat one symbol as wild every turn. And we've got a blue or a red. Okay, I am going to go for treat a symbol as wild. I want to do that. So you put a border around there to show you've unlocked that ability. So once per round, I'll get to change something to wild. And I've done purple, haven't I? So that will be a research as the bonus. And I have to start here since I've only got one research. It's just going to be that one square for me. Marty, on the other hand, that is very tempting. Give you a lot of flexibility. But on the other hand, he could do two reds here. And that is what he's going to do. So he's going to color in this red here and yeah, work on the other T-Rex over here. He does need two blues now. And that is going to give him the bonus of studying. Luckily, he has discovered a dinosaur, so he is going to do this. And for every column, he gets three points. So he's even more incentivized to, you know, have a have a card from each deck as much as he can. OK, on to the next round. And we have a wild paw print, put it where you like. Green or a red, two greens, a scientist, or three research symbols. Now I have made a start on my research, so three more is tempting, but I think I would like to see some dinosaurs out there. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the two green paw prints. And I could, I'm could. i gonna change one to blue as well. So I'm gonna do this one here, that's, you know, because every dinosaur here is worth a point to me. And it helps me unlock objective D. And objective D is to fill in the blue, as many blue spaces as possible. So I'm going to do these dinosaurs here. And then my bonus is to study a dinosaur. And so, yeah, I will just do one of these. Starts me on the way to unlocking objective D. Oh, at the end of last round, by the way, Marty should have gotten his three points for discovering that pterodactyl. And now if you haven't already done it, everyone else gets one point if they manage to do it. So Marty does want to split things out. I think he's going to go for that research. That is three research. So one, two, that's an observation post. So I think he will keep going for the T-Rexes. And then third one just goes there, hasn't got any choice, but then he can split off or he could just keep going straight up and then get points for every building. And his bonus is a choice of some more research, an observation post, study, or more research. He's going to go for research and he's going to go here because that's going to get him a scientist and he's going to put the scientist down here. That's halfway to three points and potentially if he can get all the way up here, that's going to be 12 points of scientists. Okay then, new round and what have we got? We've got study, green or red, two green, a research or three scientists. I am going to go for... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for two green again. One, I'm going to really do green over here. And then the second one, I'm going to convert to blue again. And I'm going to do a little raptor. My bonus for taking a yellow card again is going to be two study arrows. So I could just do these two here, and that's three points. But I'm going to do one there to get me closer to unlocking D. And then we'll do another one here. Marty, since he's already unlocked this observation post, he's going to go gray again, even though he does want to do columns, just because this is, this is uh, three scientists. Suddenly, he's got six points worth of scientists over here. He's allowed to fill in these two because he's done this observation post. He's going to have to do another observation post here before he can build these two. And so he can pick something. He could do an observation post, and then they're unlocked and ready. He's going to do that as his bonus. Observation post there, and then every T-Rex is worth uh, three points. If he can do their uh, blue halves. Okay, new round time, 
And we've got research. Two green. Oh, we've got a new building. Let me get the proper names of the buildings. So I built the rover. We've got the research lab here. So every research is worth an extra research. I, oh, that's, that seems good for Marty. He's already kind of invested in research. He's going to go for that. Uh, it's nicer the earlier that comes out. But he's unlocked that and he will get two study arrows. Oh, has he? Oh, that's a terrible thing to do, though, because he can't have those study arrows. Oh, unfortunately, we're not writing in pencil, though, are we? Uh, so, yeah, Marty's just going to have to not have that bonus, unfortunately. There's nowhere he can colour in. Oh, no. Sorry, Marty. It's going to pay off. He's going to get a load of research. As for me, I could go too green again. I want some reds coming out, really. Well, I could branch out into other dinosaurs. And I haven't taken a red yet. Yeah, let's, let's do two greens again. So one's going to be a blue, I think, over here. And then what shall we have? We could do the T-Rex. We could try and race for the T-Rex, perhaps. Or we could work on, like, the Triceratops or something. Now let's work on these. Let's do a green up here. What are these? Diplodocus? Brontosaurus? I can't remember. I bet, like, eight-year-old me or something would have been able to tell you. Okay, so that's... Oh, and I need to do an observation post. And I might as well carry on here since I've done uh, a lot of the raptors. So having them worth an extra point would be good. New round time. And it is going to be a building. What is the building? The radar, which uh, every time you study, you can study an extra time. Uh, green paw and an observation post. Two green paws, loads of green. Uh, a scientist and two wild paws. Wild paws. Okay, I think, well, I've had that bonus. I think I'm going to go for the wild paws. I'm going to do one over here because I would like to ensure that I unlock this, uh, this D objective at least. And then we could do another blue just so that objective scores even more. So now I have the potential to unlock this new scoring thing from studying. Two points for every purple card. I have only taken one purple card so far, but maybe I want to make that my focus if I'm going to... It is four more study things and I want two here and another one here really for the three points. What am I going to take as my grey bonus? Probably not a research, although I could get an observation post with a research. And then they're all worth two points each. Yeah, there's no point just taking the observation post when it's up for the grabs, is it? Or I could just study. Now let's, let's research, which is going to get me an observation post, which I will put here in the raptors. Okay. And so Marty could go for another building. There is points for the buildings that he's got, and he is on his way to objective B get 10 points of having four buildings yeah he's gonna go for the radar because uh, he does want to do the columns as well and that's going to be a scientist which he is definitely going to put with the t-rexes okay then end of the round and so we are going to have study two green green or a red uh the observatory i think that is and two wild yes it's the observatory so yeah marty's eyes are on that as well still and he hasn't done a purple yet he's going for it so yeah, it's a bit. At what turn are we on? Three, four, five, six. So this is turn seven. Okay, so he's going to get a research for doing that. Anytime he gets a research, he gets one extra. So he's got two research coming. Since he's done three buildings already, he is going to go straight up. And there he's unlocked objective B with his research. Also, he's done a column, so he can get a wild paw anywhere. And he will... He'll complete one of his T-Rexes. Why not? Oh, and I need points, don't I? Whenever this happened for doing the raptors. That was uh, five points for doing those raptors. I flip them back. Okay, what do I want? It would be nice to get the buildings, but I could just do two greens again. Yeah, and one wild, and I could unlock a red. Yeah, I'm just going to go for two greens. One will actually be green in the middle here. Although I was supposed to be picking purple cards, wasn't I? want to go for that bonus the other one i'm going to convert to wild and i will treat it as red and i'll do this little guy down here just so try and make sure i get this scoring so that was a red card so two observation posts and where do i want them now well i'm going up here so let's make everyone here worth uh, worth two points okay new round and we've got scientist uh, we've got the new building the last building is the academy uh, we've got a red pour and an observation post. We've got another study, and we've got another triple research. Tempting for Marty. He does want to do those columns, but 
But that would be his fourth building. Yeah, he's going to go for buildings. So every time he gets a scientist, it's an extra one. Uh, and he's qualified for that. So that's 10 points right there. That was a red card. So he's going to get two plus one observation posts. And so, yeah, why not make his, uh, his T-Rexes worth five each? And he's unlocked right the way up there to 12 scientists, which he could get by picking a blue card in the future would give him two plus one scientists. Ooh. I think I'm going to go for three research because A would be quite good for me. I've already done four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dinosaurs. If I can do 11, that's going to be 10 points. So I would like three research, please. And I need to work my way over to A. So that's one, two, three. And I covered up a study square there. So I want to do this, don't I? So I unlock objective D. And then I've got a bonus. I could do another study and make sure that I've done it. Or actually, I'm going to go for a research again, and I'm going to go down here to get a blue paw, and I'm just going to fill that in. I don't know if I'm going to bother with the T-Rexes, but if I want my D scoring to be worth a lot, I want at least six blue spaces colored in. Okay, so I think I'm caught up there. New round. What are we on now? So that was eight out of 12. Not very much time left, but Marty has got some bonuses on practically anything that he picks. In case you're wondering why the sheets have just changed, there was a catastrophic camera failure, but luckily this is the exact point we were at before. So now the timeline splits off from those original results, and let's see what we do now. Now I think I'm quite happy to take the red claws because I could finish off my little <laughs> dinos down here, and then I could, I could finish the Brontosaurus as well because I would quite like to be eligible for yet another objective at the end of the game. And it would qualify me for these six points, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and use my... Well, I don't even need to use my wild, they're both red. Rach caught the sheets back up to where they should be, by the way, if you're wondering why the colouring was suddenly a lot neater. For mine, anyway. Glass Marty did his. Oh, so I've also got my, my bonus of three observation posts. And if I'm going for the brontosaurus, I could make them worth four points each. We're already maxed out here. I haven't even got one T-Rex yet. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to use all three over here. So Marty surely doesn't want another building. Two wilds would be nice. Although he does want the purple if he's going to be going for columns. They are worth three points and two wilds each. So taking the blue would be two studies and three scientists. Thanks to his building bonuses. But what would he do with those two studies? I think he needs to get some dinosaurs down. Looking at his sheet, it's looking a bit bare, isn't it? He's going to go for wilds. So he's going to finish off this T-Rex with his first wild. And then he'll, go, he'll start this Brodto because maybe he can get the study bonus here is two study arrows and it's two reds. So maybe he can grab that. Either way, I just think he needs some more dinosaurs filled in for like an objective if he, if he unlocks A. Maybe you should have just filled in the ones. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> so I have done the tiny dinosaurs. So that's going to be six points. And Marty has done his T-Rexes, which... Oh, there they are, four points. And we can go on to the next round. We've got scientist, green paw or red paw, double red paw, scientist or triple research. Oh, Marty's never had his, uh, his bonus here either. So, does he go for a couple of observation posts? I think... Oh, yeah, he did want observation posts for this. He could take two scientists. One would definitely go here for the nine points. Where would another one go? I think he'll go for research for his bonus. And he'll go this way. So he'll get a study as well that he's just coloured in. And maybe he'll just make the study two points. Okay, for this turn then, what do I want? I'm tempted by just getting two paws. I wouldn't finish off this Bronto. Would I have anything to study with the three studies that I'd get? Yeah, I could do this to unlock D and then get three points. Or maybe get this purple one, but I've only taken one purple card. Yeah, I'm going to go for grey again, so I'm going to be locked out of the grey cards. Uh, I'm not going for grey, am I? I was talking about going for yellow. Well, we're going for grey now, <laughs> for research, uh, which isn't a bad thing, actually. I do need to do that because I want to unlock scoring for dinosaurs, certainly, because I've done six. If I can, yeah, I've done six and five, so I've done 11. That's 10 points. I haven't done any buildings, so no point trying to qualify for that. I have done, hoping to do a load of study arrows. 
Anyway, so for now, I'm doing three research. So that's going to be one, two, unlock objective A. And then three, I'm just going to go here and grab a scientist. What can one scientist get me? Oh, that's, that scientist that went towards getting a building was a bit of a waste, wasn't it? One scientist can get me some study up here. Yeah, let's go for that. So one study is what I've got left on this Objective D thing. So yeah, even though I colored the wrong thing in, I think it went okay. Marty wants to go for scientists, but he needs observation posts actually to unlock this. Does he just go for a single pour though? So he can get all those observation posts that he needs. It's more than he needs actually, isn't it? Because it's three plus one. He could get one here and then if he gets a blue pour, you get a point for these. I think that was a mistake putting something in Brontosaurus. How many turns is there left? There's two more turns after this. So there's still a chance for him to get another column. So he's going to go for red, because when he gets scientists, he wants to be able to put them here and get the 12 points. He's going to go for red, so that's a green or a red paw. So he'll go for green here, because then the middle one is still open. So he can fill in three plus one, four observation posts. So there's going to be one, two, three, four. Maybe get something for these Brontos when they're done. Okay, end of the round, new cards. Okay, just paws. Just configurations of pause. Okay, Marty, he wants the research and he wants the scientists. So he's kind of gambling which one is going to be most useful next turn. He doesn't know what the card's going to be. He could, of course, not go for columns and just keep concentrating on something else. I just think it's going to really help. He's going to go for the, the blue. He definitely wants he definitely wants this. So it's a, a wild, wild paw. And that can go over here and do this dinosaur. And then his bonus is two plus one scientists. They're going to go straight down here and qualify him for the 12 points. And then for me, I can ignore the gray cards completely now. Do I want more research? Do I want to qualify for this study thing? I want more, I want more study things if <laughs> that's the case. But what I'm actually going to do is I am going to go for the study. Maybe we can get the research points later, but I'm going to go for two red paws. I'm actually going to use my wild. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. I'm going to use my wild to do one red, my wild from my rover, and one green, because the middle one is either or, so more chance of filling that in next time. And then for the three studies, I can do one... Do I make sure that I qualify for the three points? No, I really want an extra thing. Then I don't need the research points, because I can just unlock it with this. So that's two. Oh, and then three, because this is still missing one, to get these three points. So yeah, I think that went okay. So it's time for the final round and the final card reveal. Ta-da! Oh, we've got some research on blue. So Marty wanted purple, didn't he? Because he will get two wilds from that, three research, and two studies, which can give him two reds. Oh, yeah, what would he want to research? Would he want to research A or C? So he's going to go for this. So first of all, the study. He gets two studies, which he wants to use over here, doesn't he? To get two red paws. I think he's just going to fill them in down here just for number of dinosaurs done. Or maybe for diversity of species, he could get some points here. Oh, yeah, his second one can go and half fill in a stegosaurus. So as long as he's done six dinosaurs, he'll be okay for A. Because so now he'll get his research bonus. One two, and then three, he unlocks a blue paw, which he'll do to get his very first raptor. Not going to get the points for any of these things, but for diversity of species, he's got one of everything now. Well, yeah, he's going to have one of everything, because now he's done two columns, so he gets his uh, two wilds, so one will be used here on the Triceratops. Did I say Stegosaurus? So now I don't think it matters because it'll just be his eighth somewhere and none of these are worth points because he hasn't done the observation posts. So uh, just do another, another dinky one. And I think that's Marty's last turn. As for me, what do I really want? I want at least two studies. I'd like to fill this in, which doesn't that mean I have to take the yellow? I would get four studies so I could do two, three, four and get an extra three points here. That would be everything. I wouldn't get any more stuff. I could get two research and qualify myself for B, but what good that would that do me? Can't take the grey. 
getting a scientist at this point is a bit late, isn't it? I think my observation posts are pretty decent as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for the yellow. And so a red or a green. I'm going to do the middle here. And then four arrows. So one, two, three, four. And that is the end of my bonuses and the end of the game. So it is time for scoring. So Marty is going to have to have a little shift out of the way here. And we will go through all of the scoring goodness. So first up, the objectives. So objective A, we both qualified for on the research track. So how many dinosaurs did we discover? Marty has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So qualifies for five points there. I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I qualify for the ten points. For buildings, I've just done the one. Oh, I don't even qualify for that. I can choose to qualify for it, but I'm not going to. So I score a big fat zero on there. Marty, four buildings, he gets 10 points. For C, well, I already qualify for D there, so I better choose C here. Uh, study arrows, I've done four, eight, 10, 12. So I qualify for the big 10 there as well. Marty doesn't qualify for C or D, does he? No. So nothing on those for him. And D for me, I do get because of these guys. And it's number of blues coloured in. One, two, three, four, five. So just missing the 10, unfortunately. I should have done one more with a wild somewhere, probably. Uh, but actually, there's not really space, is there? If I wanted these to be full, yeah, I would have had to pick completely different things. So on the research, it's 15 to 25. So doing well there. Scientists, Marty has got 12 points. I don't think I've got a single point from, dino from um, scientists. Nope, just got that one there, not getting me a house. And uh, that one just got me a bonus, so no bonus points. Then we've got discovering the species first. Between us, we discovered <laughs> with the brontosauruses. Uh, so nothing there. It's just, yeah, it's just seven for Marty and 11 for me. Diversity of species. I've got one, two, three, no, I didn't discover that one. I've got three different species, which is six points. And Marty has gone for all of them, I think. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is, oh, wow. 21 points. And then for your outposts, so Marty gets no points for anything but the T-Rexes. He's got two that are worth five points each. So that's 10. I get two points for each of the raptors. So that's eight. I get a point for each of these tiny ones, so that's 14. And I get four for each of these, so 18, 22. Then we've got bonus points for your study arrows. So Marty gets three points for every column, so that's going to be six points. And then another two there, so that's just going to be eight points on his study arrows. I've got three there. And three there, so six. Is this going to be quite close? So Marty's got... 15, 27, 34, 55, 65, 73. And I've got uh, 25, 36, 42, 64, 70. It is close, but I think if I've done everything right here, Marty, probably with that diversity of species, has pulled it out the back. 21 points from that. And uh, so there we are. That is Demeter. How did you do, though, if you played along? Let me know. Did you beat us? Uh, so I can I can I can exclusively reveal that uh, the the way they went in the original record is that Marty was quite behind, didn't do enough dinosaurs. I'd kind of forgotten about that diversity of species. That's probably why it occurred to me more now. But uh, yeah, that went a little bit differently. That uh, he what did he do? He got more down here, but generally probably picked. He's got more arrows and stuff. Like getting two points for every blue is pretty useless if you've only got one blue, isn't it? And I did a little bit better. So I would have won the game if I'd gone the exact same way that I went before. What did I do differently? I don't even know what I did differently. Oh, what I did was work out my diversity of species wrong because I haven't discovered a T-Rex. I've discovered half a T-Rex. So did I go the exact same way? It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> subconsciously, I probably just remembered what I did. Or well, maybe it was the obvious choice. But anyway... That's beside the point. And that was a game of Demeter. I hope you enjoyed it, whether you watched or played along. I like doing the play along, rolling right while flipping fills. 
If you would like to know what I think about the game, that's linked in the description or it's coming up on the screen very shortly. If you'd like to help me keep making these videos, it's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips. Anything you can contribute would be absolutely amazing. And if you can't, spreading the word about the channel is absolutely fantastic as well and doing the things that obey the YouTube algorithm like uh, liking the video and stuff. But hey, that's all up to you. Thank you for watching most of all and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.